Hey, hey, how is everyone doing? How are you doing? Um, I had started this and I kind of stopped it. Uh, those who don't know who I am, my name is Dr. Miriam Sekandi and um, I do some a lot of work with uh, energy healing, uh, energy mastery, and uh, I do you know, self-empowerment uh, for individuals who want, you know, to overcome their trauma, pain, stress, and all that stuff. And um, a lot of people who need to overcome social programming, I do help with overcoming, uh, with empowering them and uh, healing any stuff, any garbage. Like, people don't realize how much garbage is in there that needs to be dealt with, but yes, it's gonna happen. So today, uh, I have a couple of things to share. One is a foot bath or a foot sock uh, that, um, you know, these, a lot of people will leave their houses and go to the, the spa to get their, you know, to get a pedicure, and they feel so good afterwards. But I'm just wanting to show you that you actually can bring this into your home and do it daily. You don't even need to do it for a long time. You can do it for 10, ten minutes, for 20 minutes. I'm certain you have 10 minutes, 20, 30 minutes where you just sit and scroll on your phone or watch a movie or you know, eat snack or just have a chat with your family. And this activity you can actually do painlessly, painlessly in your home. So many people have like crazy work days. They have, um, they have, they are, they are stressed. Other people are going through like relationship issues, like divorce, uh, illnesses in the family, children that are driving you crazy, a lot of junk happening. And this is something you can do to actually, um, to actually help to deal with that. So, if you're watching live or watching this later on, just say hello uh, so I can know you are here. You came to visit, say hello. And if you have any questions, drop them and I will share, uh, I, I will respond to them. But for now, I'm going to start. So I'm going to introduce you to the foot bath or foot sock that uh, many of you probably have experienced. You've had your feet socked or you've gone for a pedicure and they socked your feet and it felt it's the most amazing feeling. Now, this is something that I do in my home. Uh, it's something I would recommend for you to do daily. And it's, you know, something that I know like foot baths or foot socks have advantages. But I'll talk about those while... Um, my feet are going <laughs> yeah but for now i'm going to start by showing you what i have if you're visiting please say hello so i know you are here um i'm going to show you th this is something you can do daily and i'm going to go through the process and then i'll talk about the benefits i know i probably should talk about the benefits but while the process is going i'll talk about the benefits and then we'll go from there so first off, I'm going to turn my camera around and I will show you something um, that you could have. I know each one of you can have this in your home or you can give it to yourself in order to, to um, deal with whatever is going on in your life. Stress, any tension, any anxiety, any confusion, a lot of that stuff. So I'm going to turn my camera around and then you will see uh, two things. One is this. This can be your, you know, if you don't have what I'm going to show you, you can use just a regular plastic basin. And all you need to do is put um, warm water that is comfortable to the skin or you can use a foot spa. I use a foot spa. Personally, this thing is not expensive, and so I gifted it to myself because I care about the health of my feet. 
And a lot of people don't think about the health of their feet. You don't have to buy this exact brand. I am not promoting the brand. But you can either use a plastic basin if you don't have, you know, the electric stuff. You can just use a plastic basin and put lukewarm water. I have already put lukewarm water in here. And the other thing that I could use or you could use, I'm going to turn the camera around again. The other thing that you could use is you can use Epsom salts. I do not have Epsom salts with me right now, but I do have like bath crystals. I probably can turn my camera around for this. So, yeah. So I have bath crystals. Um, sometimes I'll use those. Uh, and some of these bath crystals will come with, uh, with uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, 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 essential oils already infused in them. Like this is eucalyptus and jasmine. Um, this, this has that. So some of the bath crystals will come with that. You can use Himalayan salt. Um, this is my favorite. I like using Himalayan salt. I use it for my cooking. I use it uh, for my socks. I use like, this is my go-to. Hi, Irene, how are you doing? Yeah, so that's my go-to. But yeah, so you can use the salt. You can use Epsom salts if you want. Um, you can use essential oils. I love cedar wood with my feet. I actually do put drops of cedar wood um, under my feet every day. Um, it's a different story for another day. But you can do that as well. And I do have, this is an interesting one. This is a weight release. It's a weight release aid bath drops. It's supposed to go in the bath, but I cheat and I put it in my foot baths. And it works. But anyhow, um, yeah, so you can add whatever um, essential oils you want. If it's at the end of the day, for me right now, it's the beginning of the day, so I don't need lavender. You can use lavender to calm down. If it's the end of your day and your day was crazy, uh, you can do that. Um, hi, Irene, how are you doing? Say something. If you don't say something, I see you, but I don't see you if you don't say anything. Yeah, so... At the end of every day, I'm sure you have 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 15 minutes to do this bath, this foot sock. And I will talk about the benefits after I start mine. So I have, uh, unfortunately, my hands are... So you might ask how much. Uh, I usually, some people will measure a cup. I usually will just measure my... my um, my I, ju I just put the salts in my hand and whatever fills my hand is what i'll put in i'm i'm very african i don't care about uh, measurements i don't you know me i'm a rule breaker so measurements don't work for me so trying to open this thing um so i only need to put my phone somewhere without letting it fall into the water so pray for me on that one If it's not opening, it's about to pop off, so there it is. So yeah, I will take a uh, Himalayan salt and I just put, you know, kind of a handful, which is equivalent to a cup, and I'll put it into the water. So you can, do I need to, to show you? I camera I can so yeah I just do that and I put it in you can do that now one thing I recommend is taking a picture take a picture of yourself before you soak your feet I I promise you I don't want to say I swear I almost said I swear but I promise you take a picture of your stressed self as soon as you get home a selfie take a selfie of your face when you get home soak your feet for 15 to 20 minutes and take another selfie and tag me Prom tag me you will see the difference you will see what it does 
so i just put salt um salt in the water i will put uh, drops of cedar because i love cedar cedar is my go-to don't ask me how many drops i just put drops just put drops of cedar i love cedar with my feet i put drops of cedar on my feet and then my weight loss drops ha 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 yeah you'll wonder like why do you put weight loss drops these are weight loss drops but you know a, a good way that's how i cheat out of the gym and it works but anyhow so that's my foot bath um i use this one like i said you can use that and then just mix mix the salt in there and put whatever you want in there and just put your feet for uh 10 15 minutes i do this because i like the 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 motion when i turn it on uh my feet you may wonder where are my feet because all you see is my face and then i turn it on and it starts going just make sure that what when you put water it's at your ankles and yeah there you go i will be here and hopefully i can tell the time i don't have a clock here but i'll estimate um whatever is going on i'll estimate so why do we do foot baths that's i hope that sound is not gonna um interfere and uh, irritate you but why do we why do we have to soak our feet because like i say this is something you can do daily this is something you can do um without worrying about you know time because we do get the time that we sit actually um and we, you know we sit at home we talk to our family members we watch tv we are on our phones and we can do this with our feet in the foot bath now why do we have to do like why would you have to go through the pain of soaking your feet you know some especially some guys will say oh that's a woman stuff blah 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 that's your issue i don't care anyhow um so one of the key things if any of you have heard of reflexology uh in reflexology usually they they have a friend who does reflexology and my understanding is your entire body system is mirrored in your feet and so just by manipulating or targeting certain areas on your feet they can actually um they can access a body organ and help with um, working on it, maybe releasing toxins or whatever. So nurturing your feet, you're actually nurturing your entire organ system. That's amazing. Like you, you can't ignore that. You can't, um, yeah, you can't ignore that. So you, when you nurture your feet, you're actually nurturing all your entire body organs. So that alone is amazing you know um yeah so that's what you do so again when you also soak your feet you increase the body temperature you, you increase your body temperature and when your body temperature increases it's kind of like being in a spa or being in a hot in a sauna when you go to a sauna you're increasing your body temperature and when you increase your body temperature uh, you relieve your muscles and mental, t mes uh, mental tension releases. So if you have stuff that's bugging you, like, and it doesn't matter what, maybe it's your business and you're trying to work your business and your business is not moving, soak your feet. If you've had a fight at work and you get home and you are stressed out, soak your feet. If you're going through, if you have a family member who is ill and it's eating you alive, soak your feet. It's not going to make them better, but it's going to make you feel better so you can support them better. If you're going through a divorce, if you're struggling with your kids, whatever it's going on in your life, soak your feet. You, you, you will relieve your muscles, your, your, you will relieve your muscle tension and you'll be less stressed. 
So soaking your feet also boosts your immune system. Your immune system will be boosted. And once your immune system is boosted, guess what? You feel better. And there's less illnesses that are attacking you because your immune system is better. Inflammation, if you struggle with inflammation in your body and in your system and you soak your feet, you're going to increase the circulation, you're going to increase blood flow to your feet and legs, lower legs, and improve your circulation. That alone helps to relieve inflammation. Of course, soaking your feet, if you've ever been to a spa or wherever, you felt that you felt the calm and energizing uh, feeling it gives you. It soothes you. And soaking your feet is funny. It does two things that seem to be opposite, but amazing. It calms you down, and at the same time, it's, it, it awakens you. It energizes you. It will energize you at the same time it's coming you down. So it boosts your mood, your blood pressure. If you struggle with high blood pressure, if you have people who struggle with blood pressure issues, encourage them to soak their feet every day for 10 to 20 minutes. That is free medication right there. If you struggle with sleeping, people who have insomnia, you know, People who have insomnia, don't go running and buying melatonin. Do this daily. Soak your feet daily. Mm. The, the, the scent of uh, cedar is so good. After I, you know, put that in, I love cedar. Um, um, yeah. Anyway, like I said, remember to take a picture before you soak your feet and take a picture after and you'll tell me immediately on your face it will show you will you'll be more relaxed because it helps to eliminate tension anger confusion hostility anxiety all those negative feelings if you're struggling with negative feelings i assure you if you soak your feet 20 minutes 30 minutes max I'm telling you there's going to be a difference. Don't wait for the day you say, oh, I need to be able to take a bath, but I don't have time to take a bath. I don't have time for this. You have time to sit and scroll on your phone. You have time to sit and watch a, you know, Netflix. You have time to talk to your family members. You have time to sit and take a snack. You have time to sit and gossip on the phone with a friend. You have time to soak your feet. Because you can do all those things with your feet in a foot bath. I'll give you an update of what's going on here. Uh, there, that's my feet. In there, I know the water is colored because of the pink salt. So it looks a little bit pink. But if you don't have this, don't worry. You can use that. If you don't have this, don't worry. You can use that. Just warm water in there. Very low cost. Um, very low cost and you'll be good. All you need are Epsom salts. That's probably something you're going to have to purchase. Epsom salts. And use that. And you will be rid of tension. You'll be rid of anger, confusion, hostility. All those bad, bad feelings on a daily. Soak your feet. <laughs> soak your feet the other thing it does is it improves cognitive function and boosts boosts your creativity and work habits like who doesn't want the feel-good effect you want the feel-good effect everybody wants to feel good nobody wants to feel like they are fighting and whatever like all those situations soak your feet it's gonna take away a lot of stuff that's stressing you and you know people who do exercise who go to the gym and stuff like that who do it a lot i go not all the time not religiously uh there are certain things i do religiously that's why i'm cheating and using the weight release drops those of you who want to know i'm not i'm not showing you the company because i don't want to be accused of oh i can't show you the company it doesn't even matter Ah, I'll show you the company. I don't care. I'm not. I'm not their distributor, so I don't care. It's what I use. Uh, I'm trying to show you. Trying to. 
it's our it's weight release drops uh, sorry you can't see properly the lighting is not good um, but it's weight release drops and I just drop those in my water you can w drop them in a bath whatever but if you're soaking your feet on a daily just add those to your water add um, um, essential oils whichever kind I also added Himalaya salt pink Himalayan salt that's what I added um, you can use bath salts if you want these are bath salts um, eucalyptus and jasmine oils in them but yeah that's bath salts so yeah um, I can assure you that soaking your feet is going to make a whole lot of a difference uh, in your life. So hopefully that works for you. Of course, when you're done soaking your feet, you need to clean them up. If you have dry skin on the, on the feet, you can clean that off. There's, you know, people, different people use different things. Uh, you can use, uh, I don't even know what they are called, like foot scrapers, uh, other, people's, other people use rough stones. There is a rough stone that we have. It's kind of crystalline stone in Africa that I, I use. Uh, so, yeah. But for purposes of the feel good, good mood, better sleep, guys, people who struggle with sleep, People who struggle to sleep, this is your hack. If you struggle to sleep, this is your hack. I'm telling you, this is your hack. If you are, if there's so much stuff going on in, in your life, this is your hack. So use it, use it, use it. Hey, 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 Noreen, I'm coming to the end. I am just demonstrating... Um, foot bath and I'm saying uh, you could use that just a plain old plastic uh, bucket or basin add Epsom salts that I got here can add Epsom salts uh, this is no I, this is not Epsom salts this is Himalayan salt but you can use Epsom salt you can add um, essential oils and guess what I'm cheating because I'm adding my weight release drops uh, these drops are supposed to be put in the bath, but I added I add them to my feet. And this is something you can do every day for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes maximum. Uh, the water looks like that, kind of turgid because of the pink salt. It's not that my feet are that dirty. It's the pink salt which kind of colors the water, and that's okay. Um, but otherwise, at the end of every day, this is something you can do on a daily. So if you know anyone who's struggling with high blood pressure, anyone who struggles with inflammation issues, anyone who struggles with tension, anyone going through, uh, you know, tough times like a divorce or a sick person in the family or, you know, anything, any hard times, it's very, very simple. A foot bath will help to hack that for you. So that's me, Dr. Miriam Sekandi here from The Break Free Zone, bringing you foot baths and feeling better. Bye-bye.